My name is Dayo Israel and I'm from Nigeria. Meryl Dupa and I come from Zambia. I'm Sanjay Patra and I'm from India. I'm Hobi from Iraq. I'm Remo Kamenero from Burundi. And Jakub Mraček from the Czech Republic. Adil Nurmakov from Kazakhstan. Sean Robinson from New Zealand. I'm Miri Shalem, I'm from Israel. This is Joel Yodoyman, I'm from Chad. This is Fahima Zarbovian from Afghanistan. Boyana Trnic, I'm coming from Bosnia and Herzegovina. I believe very strongly that civil society is a strong backbone of every imagined democracy. It's the tool that we can use to practice democracy, to check our democracies really exist and in which field. If you, if you try to reduce this gap between civil society and the authority, we can get the real democracy. We can have a sound and good democracy without an active participation of the civil society. Civil society has chance to be a really independent watchdog of, uh, of politicians and mechanism in democracy and that's the reason why they need it. So we have all to get up and work for that. I believe that civil society is a real time platform for effective social change. Civil society is all about our ability as citizens to change the world. Civil society organization can change the way governance is conducted all over the world. With the advent of the internet and, and the technology that, that that allows for people to connect, we now can look at social movements and civil society on a global scale. Civil society is about critical thinking and courage to be ready to take action for the social and political change. The most important is that civil society helps people to feel free. Civil society is the heart of a community which gives life to each member of a community. Civil society is really people's fundamental desire to connect with one another in communities and to have some say or some control over how those communities are shaped. It's about collaboration, cooperation and eventually breaking down barriers.